Hello, I'm Colin Daly of Campbell Scientific in Logan, Utah. In this video, we'll show you how to communicate with an SDI-12 sensor using a terminal emulator. This is also sometimes called the talk-through mode, as you'll be communicating with an SDI-12 sensor through the data logger it's connected to. Some of the reasons you may need to communicate directly with an SDI-12 sensor include verifying communications, verifying or changing the address, sending commands directly to the sensor, checking the response time, and troubleshooting. SDI-12 stands for Serial Data Interface at 1200 baud. You can read the full specification at www.sdi-12.org. Some smart sensors can communicate with your Campbell Scientific data logger using this SDI-12 protocol. All SDI-12 sensors have three wires a data line that's used for transmitting and receiving information, a 12-volt DC power line, and a ground line. You can read more about programming your data logger to read an SDI-12 sensor in the CR Basic Help. Take a look at the SDI-12 recorder instruction. In this tutorial, we'll use the CS215 Temperature and Relative Humidity sensor. I'll have it connected to my CR1000 with a green data line to C7. That'll be important to remember. It is powered by 12 volts and grounded appropriately. I also have a serial cable from my computer to the CR1000's RS-232 port. I'm running LoggerNet, but you can do this through PC400 and PC200W too, or a terminal emulator program such as HyperTerminal. Let's get started. From LoggerNet's main category, connect to the data logger. Select the data logger that has the SDI-12 sensor connected to it, and connect. It's usually a good idea to collect your data. If the data logger program is running, it takes precedence over the commands issued through the terminal mode. Programs querying SDI-12 sensors faster than about every 5 to 10 seconds should be stopped temporarily. You'll do that through file control. Click the Stop Program button. Select the Retain Data option. You'll notice that the program has been stopped. Now let's get into the terminal mode. Choose Data Logger from the top menu bar and select Terminal Emulator. The Terminal Emulator window opens and you'll click the Open Terminal button. Put a check in All Caps mode if there isn't one already. Press the Enter key a few times until you get to the Data Logger prompt. We're using a CR1000, so our prompt is the CR1000 bracket. Other Campbell Scientific Data Loggers will have similar prompts. At the prompt, type SDI12 and Enter. Enter the port where your sensor is connected. We're using C7. Type 7, Enter. Now you are in SDI-12 terminal mode and you can issue SDI-12 commands directly to the sensor. First, we'll query the sensor to find out its address. Type question mark exclamation. That's a shift one. All SDI-12 commands end with the exclamation, Enter. The sensor responds with its address, in this case, 0. 0 is the default address of most SDI-12 sensors. To change its address, we use the A command. So, type the sensor's address, 0 in this case, then A, and the address we want to change it to, which is 1. Then, end with an exclamation point, Enter. The sensor responds with a 1, which is the new address. The I command is used to have the sensor identify itself. Type 1, the sensor's address, then I, exclamation, enter. It responds with its address first, then identifying information, such as the manufacturer, the model number, and the operating system. Another handy command is the measure or M command. Remember, lead with the address. The sensor responds with its address, then the amount of time until the measurement will be ready and how many values will be returned. In this example, sensor 1 will have in one second two values. After that amount of time has elapsed, you can issue the data or D command. 1D0 exclamation tells the sensor to send all the data. Your SDI-12 sensor may support other D commands, so refer to its manual. The sensor responds with its address and the two data points. Your Campbell Scientific Data Logger automatically issues the D command at the appropriate time as part of the SDI-12 recorder instruction. If you enter an invalid command, such as just pressing enter, you'll get an SDI-12 failed message. 
After about 40 seconds of inactivity, the SDI-12 terminal mode times out and exits. Click the Close Terminal button and close the terminal window. Remember, if you stop the program, you have to start it again. Do that through File Control. Select your program if it isn't already. Click the Run Options button. Check Restart Program. Do not erase data files. You can see that the program is running again. Then you're back to the Connect screen where you can manage your data logger. We'll just disconnect at this point. Now for a few troubleshooting tips. NANs indicate a problem. Here are some things to check. Are all wires connected securely? Does the program instruction use the correct port? Are you getting 12 volts to the sensor? Does the sensor's SDI-12 address match the program instruction querying it? Are you querying the sensor before it's ready? That will cause it to abort the measurement. Either slow down how often you're issuing the measurement command, or use the concurrent command if it's supported. SDI-12 sensors are easy to use, and because they are user addressable, a single data channel can host multiple sensors. Now that you're familiar with SDI-12 terminal mode, you can change the sensor addresses and much more. Also, look for our other video on the watch or sniffer mode. This allows you to observe low-level communications between the SDI-12 sensors and the data logger. Please contact a Campbell Scientific application engineer to discuss your application and for answers about your SDI-12 sensors.